So we covered all of the new legendary guns, all of the new abilities and the support gear in Anthem's Cataclysm and as promised, today we're going to go over all of the brand new melee weapons and effects added for each javelin. You would be surprised just how much these can change your playstyles around or maybe even your loadouts, so let's jump right in and of course a like on this video would be super appreciated. Also a quick reminder of our very own giveaway which is about to end in like a couple more days from this point. This was organized thanks to the awesome folks over at Instant Gaming. If you want to take part in it, simply follow the giveaway link down below and make sure you are signed up on their website to participate. Then you can choose whichever game you want to enter the giveaway for and if you want to increase your chances at winning, there are some additional entries you can get if you are subscribed to my channel or by following me and Instant Gaming on social media. But with that being said and done, let's jump right in with all of the new melee weapons. First, as always, each javelin has two new melee weapons for the newly introduced melee slot. One is an upgraded version version of the already existing ones with bonus effects and upgrades to masterwork and legendary status, while the other set is a completely new one with a functionality opposite of what the javelin already had. So what this means is that now all of the javelins in the game can equip either a primer or a detonator in their melee slot and not be bound to a predefined one. For example, the ranger only had a melee primer ability before but now also has a detonator and this applies to all of the other javelins as well. To get these new items you either have to hunt for them inside content on hard difficulty and not Grandmaster and why that is the case you might ask is because while it kind of forces a smaller loot pool that gives you better chances at getting them but this only applies to the epic versions of these items for higher masterwork and legendary variants and the bonus effects you will want to get these from the war chests as it is the case with all of the previous legendary items added in the cataclysm update but since we mentioned the ranger let's start with the rampager melee weapon which is an upgrade to the new introduced seismic mace. As you can see from the skill icon this is able to detonate prime targets but it also comes with a bonus effect. The bonus gives you a 10% increased damage for 10 seconds that can stack up to 5 times so each time you hit an enemy with it you get the buff up to a total of 50% additional damage increase which is quite significant. I never realized how well a detonator fits the ranger until I tried this one out and now I'm a firm believer that melee attacks in general are a much better fit as detonators rather than primers. Damage wise the Rampager is a very good attack thanks to its high base damage, the bonus increase and the subsequent combo detonation and if you combine it with some of the newly introduced ranger skills you can create potentially very powerful melee oriented builds that can pretty much devastate anything in sight or at the very least make the melee attacks a good backup for your existing builds. The second melee weapon for the ranger is called Transmuting Vault. This is a legendary upgrade to the already existing Shock Mace, which is a primer ability as you know. On top of shocking enemies and priming them for electric combos, it now also comes with a bonus effect of adding 3 ultimate charges to your ultimate ability. While 3 ultimate charges isn't a whole lot by itself, it does tend to add up over time, mainly because you can spam the attacks every couple of seconds or so, and if you also detonate those prime targets, you will charge up that ultimate quite fast. With that being said, I'm of the opinion that the previous Rampager is a much better item all around, especially with a bonus 50% damage increase and I would probably only use the Transmuting Vault against bosses that also spawn adds, so I can for example charge up the ultimate by attacking the adds and then use it against the boss when it comes around. Moving on to the Colossus, this class probably got the best all around deal out of all of the javelins in terms of melee weapons. The newest addition is called Meteor Smash, an upgrade Inferno Glove that burns enemies in a large area when you smash it into the ground. The legendary bonus causes the attack to leave down a fire field at your feet that continuously burns enemies, dealing damage over time and also priming them for further detonations. It's a primer ability alright, but it's a damn powerful one if you really think about it. With this this legendary you can pretty much spam fire fields all over the place and prime everybody inside of them, meaning that skills like the firewall mortar for example kinda becomes a bit obsolete in the face of the meteor smash ability. This is because you can achieve the same kind of result much easier and with far less cooldown. I would also argue that the skill itself looks extremely cool and there are a lot of builds I already have in mind centered around melee attacks in general so definitely stay tuned for that. The second one for the colossus is called 
called Earthshaker and this is the natural upgrade to the existing seismic glove. This was our previous detonator melee attack which was already extremely powerful in itself thanks to its massive base damage but now it's even more amplified with a bonus effect that sends out an additional shockwave that also damages enemies in front of you. The shockwave only travels in whichever direction your javelin is facing and the range on it seems to be pretty damn far. The shockwave range definitely reaches pretty far. Even enemies in the background can get hit by it meaning that now you can take down more enemies than ever before with one single attack. This is why I said the Colossus got the best deal out of all of the javelins because he ended up with two extremely powerful melee attacks that both are very good and suited at taking down a lot of enemies very very fast. Following up is the Interceptor with its newest weapon called Venomous Blades and the legendary upgrade from it called Deathstalker. By default the base item acts as a primer that applies poison on the enemies as you attack them while the legendary bonus effect causes additional damage against enemies below 50% HP. It might not be the best skill for taking down multiple enemies at the same time but it is quite potent for single targets with higher HP pools such as for example boss type enemies. This means that you benefit from the acid debuff that reduces resistances and further increases your damage on the target, then from the bonus 50% damage increase when the target is under half HP, and further from the acid dots that deal damage over time and can also benefit from the buff itself. And this also means you can switch your build around and also use skills exclusively as detonators while keeping only the melee attacks as primers since they are so reliable at applying debuffs. The other melee weapon is called Blades of Wording and this is the upgrade to the already existing Interceptor Twin Blade. On top of being a detonator, it also has the bonus effect of adding a damage resistance buff of 10% that can stack up to 5 times whenever you hit an enemy. So you don't actually need to eliminate your target entirely to get the buff, you just need 5 consecutive attacks. While there's no direct damage benefit from it, it will help you with your overall damage output, especially on Grandmaster 2 and 3 and that is because with more survivability you can stay for longer in fights in enemies faces and deal continuous damage and not have to jump around and run away when you're low HP so it indirectly increases your overall damage in longer battles and against tougher enemies. I believe that this is a decently good buff to be honest though I will admit that it would have made more sense to have it on a component for example and keep the damage on damage items and let support and components gear pretty much handle all of defensive stuff. Last but not least we have the Storm with its newest Lightning Surge melee weapon, an upgrade to the newly added Shocking Strike. This is another primer which the Storm previously did not have and it does as you would imagine as in it shocks enemies and it primes them for electric combos. The bonus here is that hitting enemies now also restores 40% of your shields which is going to make a whole lot of difference in how you play on higher difficulties since it is so accessible to you now to keep up your survivability. Otherwise I don't see it being that much more useful outside of just keeping up your survivability and if you're looking for straight up damage then probably the other melee weapon is going to still be on top of this one. And this of course brings us to the second storm ability and the last one on the list and it is of course the searing blast upgraded explosive strike melee weapon. The weapon as you know is a detonator as it was before but now has the bonus effect of sending out enemy seeking fireballs when you use it. You don't actually have to hit anybody to have the fireball spawn you just have to use the melee attack and eventually the fireball will spawn from your glove and it will seek the closest target dealing some damage. It's pretty decent the damage is pretty decent there is a boost over there but nothing as good as the other javelins have for example especially for the colossus. After playing around with all of these new skills, all of the new abilities, I will say that probably the Colossus and the Ranger got the best fits, like they definitely got the best abilities out there and I'm especially loving for example the Fire Glove that the Colossus has and the Detonator ability that the Ranger got with its newest weapon. So definitely a lot of stuff you can do with the new ones, you can create some new builds, shift some abilities around, maybe you had too many primers or too many Detonators in the past that you wanted to use but never got the chance because it didn't fit your melee weapon so now it should probably help you out with that. But with that being said and done we have concluded all of the new items and item variations added in the Cataclysm update. Only 33 for now but probably there's going to be more in the future. If there's any changes to the existing ones I'm going to keep you guys updated. Again a huge thank you to Aqua19858 on Reddit for providing me tons of footage to use in these videos. I have posted some Reddit links down below you can follow for a full list of all of the new items and a Cataclysm guide if you want to 
check those ones out. As always, if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up on it would be super appreciated. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more awesome content like this, activate that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time, so peace out.